पार्ट वन जियोमोर्फोलॉजी लेक्चर टू एलेवेंथ टॉपिक क्रिक में रिप्लेस द वर्ड पेनी प्लेन दैट इज गिवेन बाय डेविस बाय द टर्म पैन प्लेन हेयर आर सम वर्ड्स गिवेन बाय ए स्कॉलर्स वी हैव टू मेमोराइज पेनी प्लेन इज गिवेन बाय डब्ल्यू एम डेविस इन ड्रम बाय पैंक पेडी प्लेन एल सी किंग पैन प्लेन क्रिक में इच प्लेन ई जे वेलैंड एंड पैली विलिस एज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर दिस डाइग्राम सो वी आर दिस डाइग्राम इज रिलेटेड टू इच प्लेन सो वी आर मूविंग टू द ट्वेल्थ पॉइंट द टर्म एक्टिव लेयर इज एसोसिएटेड विथ पेरी glacial process what is active layer how it is associated with peri glacial process in environment containing permafrost the active layer is the top layer of soil that thaws during the summer and freezes again during the autumn so the active layer is associated with peri glacier because in winter or autumn layer is freezes and again in summer it thaws that is defreeze now the 13th point is paternoster lakes are feature of glacial trough so we have to remember paternoster lake is glacial trough here are image of paternoster lakes this lake is on the upper side and below this lake is again and again this lake they are joined by single stream or braided stream so it is a feature of glacial trough they are found in glacial area these are paternoster lakes they are connected with single stream or braided stream what is braided stream we can see here image of braided stream we can also relate this word braided with our sisters or mothers they used to comb their head hair on the back side in braided fashion like criss cross so in this similar fashion is known as braided stream so here paternoster lakes are connected with single stream or braided stream hope it is clear now moving to the to the 14th point books and author morphology of the earth is written by lester charles king and principles of geomorphology by w d thornbury unstable earth by j a steers the study of land forms by r j small here are the cover of these books morphology of the earth by lester king that is l c king and principles of geomorphology by william d thornbury and the third book is the unstable earth by j a steers and the fourth book is the study of land forms by r j small now moving to the next topic that is about agents of erosion and erosional features dashin wave is related to head and bay we can see this image and pictures and this the erosional features are caused by waves so the dashin wave is related to head and bay we can see this image because pictographical image is easy to memorize and our brain recognize easily and the second is blowing wind is related to barkans 
how wind blowing wind is related to barkan we can see this image this is a barkan in crescent shape they are made by blowing winds okay now running water is related to incised meander now we can see the image of inside meanders this image is incised meanders and incised meanders are two types entrenched meanders and ingrown meanders entrenched meanders are symmetrical and form when the river down cuts particularly quickly and ingrown meanders are asymmetrical they form when the river down cut at a less rapid pace giving the river opportunity to erode laterally and as well as vertically means ingrown meanders eroded in downward direction and in side wide direction but in entrenched meanders it is only downward direction they erode in downward direction because the river is too fast so entrenched meander are symmetrical and ingrown meanders are asymmetrical okay hope it is clear and uh, this top in this part we left moving ice moving ice is related to hanging valley now we can see the image of hanging valley here in this image we can see this part is a hanging valley we can see this part is hanging from this part it's look like hanging so it is hanging valley it is caused by it is caused by moving ice as the ice moved in that area and they carved the area so it makes the hanging valley by ice moving and we can see the real image of hanging valley hanging valley like this this valley is known as hanging valley okay now 16 point is theories of cavern formation and their scholars caverns is related to cave cavern is natural cave and theories two cycle theory is given by davis now this theory we can memorize easily as given by davis because we earlier study davis gave cycle of erosion so remember this two cycle theory is given by davis for cavern formation a static water zone theory is given by gardner invasion theory is given by mallot water table theory is given by swinerton now we can look in this pictures it is a pictures of, of cavern from inside caverns look like this and this part as it is hanging on the roof of the cavern is known as a stalactite we can see this diagram this is a stalactite and on the ground the depositional features which which is known as a stalagmite we can see in this diagram it is a stalagmite now in general a student confused with this 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 words they sound similar but like a stalactite and a stalagmite so how should we remember now remember this in a stalactite the letter c is present here and in a stalagmite g letter is present so relate c with sailing that is in hindi sailing means chhat so a stalactite is related to the hanging part and 
on the other side a stalagmite g g means ground it is only for the memorized purpose so g means ground on the ground the depositional feature is known as a stalagmite hope now you will not confuse with a stalactite and a stalagmite a stalactite is hanging on the ceiling of the cave and a stalagmite is depositional features now look at this some or is real pictures of cave or cavern this is relate this picture is from thailand 2 years back the junior football team went for vacation after their practice and they stuck in the cave it was very it was very hot topic during that time as the world best divers were hired to save the children from the cave it was monsoon time so it was not an easy rescue time we can see the how caves looks from the inside it is not possible for a common people to cross this part with oxygen cylinders oxygen cylinder is heavy and also the water is not transparent it becomes muddy because it has just filled by rainfall and this thailand cave looks like this from inside here is entrance and in real pictures entrance looks like this it, it is not related to exam but it is only for information it is about from entrance to the spot where children were found is 4 km so we can understand the rescue operation was tough and rescue divers were hired all over the world and they come out and help even two rescue of uh, rescue divers were died or lost their life okay moving to the 7th 17th point evidence in favor of continental drift theory continental drift theory is given by wagner and what is what are evidences the most important evidences are jigs of fit and the second is fossils in different areas this is a puzzle game it is also it can be called as jigs of fit similarly in the same fashion we can see in our globe the world or continent can be arranged in jigs of fit fashion and and the second evidence that is fossils if we see the fossils available here and on the other continent is of same age how we get the the fossils are in same age by carbon dating and the and there are many evidences so evidences for continental drift theory is jigs of fit and fossils in different areas now coming to the 18th how many parallels can be drawn from north pole to south pole by by 1 degree interval now the answer is 179 how it comes 89 plus 89 plus 1 how let's see this is equator that is common to both northern hemisphere southern hemisphere now moving towards the north pole we can make how many parallels we can make 1 degree 2 degree 3 degree 20 degree similarly 21 22 and 40 degree 41 42 similarly up to 60 degree and up to 80 degree and 89 degree means we can draw 
of one interval of parallels up to 89 degree we are counting up to 89 degree why i am not counting 90 degree because it is not a parallel 90 degree is a point so how many parallels can be drawn from 90 degree north that is north pole to the equator except equator so it is 89 similarly in the southern hemisphere we can draw 89 and the equator is common to both that is 1 so 89 plus 89 plus 1 is 179 hope you get the answer now there is a question you can pause and solve this now the answer is limestone formation must contain 80 degree or more calcium carbonate means it is obvious this is the d option is not correct why in d option it is 100 percent calcium carbonate that is it seems like impossible so if you don't know the option a b c then we can guess with option d that is given 100 percent calcium carbonate it seems like impossible so for the limestone formation must contain 80 percent or more calcium carbonate it is not must 100 percent calcium carbonate so d is not the option now condition for cast formation is calcium carbonate should be 80 percent more than 80 percent and complex pattern of joints conducting water through surf subsurface drainage channel means the water will pass through the joints and erode some parts and air containing zone between ground surface and water table means air should be present because air act as an erosion it will help in erosion how we can uh, see in our kitchen our granny or mother used to uh, tight or the pickle container with lid why because if they don't do so the pickles can be get fungus and be spoiled so here air containing zone is important for cast topography because it reacts with the limestone and vegetation cover to supply organic acids organic acids also react with limestone which leads to cast topography and these are diagram of cast topography we can see this is a sinkhole this is a sinking stream the stream is going in the sinkhole and this is doline and again sinking stream limestone pavement doline here also we can see a stalactite metal c is attached to ceiling that is a stalactite and on the ground a stalagmite depositional okay and these are caves okay that is enough we will also deal in detail cast topography but here our contention is to solve the question or important topics now theory and scholars parallel retreat is given by lc king and also pank why parallel retreat is originally given by lc king but it is also given by pank why because pank revised the davis cycle of erosion and give the term parallel retreat now the second theory stream competency and capacity is given by gk gilbert and cycle of erosion as earlier mentioned is given by william morris davis and base level is given by j w powell thank you so much here our second lecture is over